All right, sixth graders. This is to help you with question four on CR 22. It says, for which point is x equal to zero and y greater than zero? So let's just make sure you know always coordinate points are x comma y. So like here, point D, the x value would be positive and the y value would be positive. Right here in the first quadrant, we start at 0, 0. This would be a positive x and a positive y. So in this case, both x and y would be greater than 0. If we look at either A or B, the x value would be negative and the y value would be positive. Your x value tells you left, right from zero. And your y value tells you up or down. So here, both a and b would have a x value of less than zero, a y value of greater than zero. Point e would have an x value from moving from zero, zero to the left of less than zero and a y value less than zero. Both of those would be negative. I need x to be zero. So if x is zero, don't move anywhere mm -hmm. left or right from the origin. The origin is the middle point, that's zero, zero. And y greater than zero says y is positive, which means move up. So if y is positive, that's telling me move up. So if x is zero and y is positive, it says if I start here at the origin, x is zero, don't move anywhere left or right. y is positive says move up. So letter C. Letter C has an x equal to zero and a y value that's greater than zero. Because I didn't move anywhere left or right, I only moved up. So it's letter C. I hope that helps.